This is my whole university experience. I ended up falling out with the people who I thought like I was genuinely tight with across the whole of first year. So we're gonna get into things here. And I bought some sleeping pills. <laughs> I'm not gonna have this woman kick me out of uni. I feel like things are getting a bit ghetto now. I felt like I was disrespected in it. What's good? It's me, James. Corbin Captures. If this is the first time you've seen my face, like I always say, you're gonna enjoy this video. So what I want you to do right now is press the like button, just down there. This will take two seconds. Press the subscribe button and let's continue to talk here. So this video has been quite anticipated because I should have done this a while ago. I was thinking, is there any point in doing this? Of course there's point in doing this because people are always going to go to university. So as you're seeing from the title, this is my whole university experience. This is going to be me going through the whole entire three years. What is my tips? What is my opinions? What do I think about house shares? What do I think about friends? What do I think you should be like on your first day? This is everything collated into one. This may be until part two because this gets very interesting when I sit down with like my peers. What shall I say? My my former peers, now that I'm a graduate, bloody hell. It is only right that I do this video because look how much university content is on my channel. Look how many of you have met through university content. This is my calling. I have to do this video. This is going to be a good one because we're going to get into things here. First year is the year where you need to have as much fun as you want. Like in terms of socializing, in terms of joining clubs, joining societies, um, seeing what your university has to offer, what you can do in your university and stuff that you can, I guess, add on your CV. And as well, some traveling, like in terms of like, if you are a person who likes to go out and socialize or somebody doesn't, push yourself to try something a bit new, like, that's my advice. It's a character building process. You find out what you like, what you don't like, and there's no way around it. My advice wouldn't be to, oh, cause you've seen a lot of uni videos on YouTube and people seem wicked and bad that you must stay away from everybody. No, that's just not how it's gonna work. It has to be organic as possible. Cause like you're gonna meet some of your lifelong friends as people like to say right and i truly believe that and i can say that from experience even though i've had my ups and downs with like people and how i perceive friendships and all that stuff in uni i definitely have people who i will definitely talk to lifelong you know i feel like uni is one of those processes where you learn a lot about yourself what you like about people what you don't like about people and i feel like because you're out of your comfort zone, your whole life depends on everything, to be honest, and it is very Armageddon. <laughs> First year is very Armageddon, it's like, everyone's guess thrown out their comfort zone, thrown out the comfort of their homes, and around bloody strangers, and have to make it work. It's like the ultimate big brother house, with everybody your age. It's the best thing that you can go through for a character building experience, as well as the degree, of course. <laughs> um, I took as well that year to sort of travel the UK, go into different cities, go into different socials, whether that's a party, an event, whether that's having friends over in different universities, and just, yeah, just taking that time to travel while you can, while you still have time, while you are able to, you know, until life gets serious and you end up having to work, <laughs> work. Well, for those of you watching this thinking about going to uni or getting ready to go to uni, despite the panel panel that is going on now, hopefully those who are applying now, they're going to get a bit of a more normal university experience seen as being wireless and park life going on later this year. So I'm sure Freshers is going to be going on too because you know how do you know how many businesses make money from Freshers? First year I feel is all about socialising, getting to know what you like, what you don't like, and you gotta try a bit of everything. And um, when I say that, I don't mean drugs, please, Jesus, please. Oh, please. That's not what I mean. I mean, in terms of like, societies, in terms of pushing yourself to speak to people, learning about different types of people, and you gotta be non-judgmental. Like, I feel like by me being non-judgmental, I was able to meet so many people, I just didn't think that I would ever like, 
resonate with or talk to in this life like before i feel like that's what uni's done for me it's really let me under like i used to have a lot of i'm the sort of person i like to speak like i like one-to-one -one chats i like to sort of dig at people's minds and just see what they're really about i came across so many interesting characters and i just have you will just catch me having sit down chats in the middle of parties and i'm that person outside like at the entrance of the party sitting on the uni sofa talking with somebody randomly while everybody's having fun that's just me. It's that natural interviewer inside of me. You know when some people at surface level, you don't think you're going to like them, but when you have that conversation, you're like, damn, you really are interested, aren't you? I've been saying that from first year. Don't come and judge people. Don't come and like have a premeditated idea based on YouTubers. Even past videos on my channel, you may have come to a conclusion about certain type of people by their look, by, oh, maybe something they say. At the end of the day, everybody's individual. It's all organic. Yeah, avoid trouble. At the same time, don't judge anyone. You'll find people actually genuinely, genuinely cool or just misunderstood. All these titles, like the words like ho, broke, all that sort of thing, under all of that. Interesting people like. I had such an interesting end of first year. Like I ended up falling out with the people who I thought like I was genuinely tight with across the whole of first year. So it was just like I found myself very disconnected from uni very quickly. Because what happened, shout out, shout out to you guys the tea. Maybe I should. Long story short, so if you guys remember um, at the end of first year, that was even a vlog. It's so embarrassing because everything pans out. This is what I mean. Imagine YouTube couples, the embarrassment of having to go no longer in a couple. Imagine I was just in the house, I thought, how embarrassing is this? What happened was me and my flatmates for first year, quite a few people that was in my YouTube videos, there was a fallout. I felt like I was disrespected in it. And yeah. Now it's all cool. Now it's all cool. Like I'm cool, we can have a conversation, all that sort of thing, but yeah, at the time it weren't cool. I felt very disrespected. Once I feel disrespected, or like, I feel like, in a sense, betrayed as well, because I take disrespect so seriously, innit? When I'm paying rent somewhere, right, if I don't feel comfortable, if I feel like things are getting a bit ghetto, like a bit ghetto, I'm out. I think something just tipped me over the edge, it was like an exchange of somebody, right? And then I was like, well, I'm out. No word of a lie, like Lloyd was even upset because he went to lunch. This was during summer, I imagine. This wasn't even in second year yet. It was the end of first year. And obviously, you know, with uni houses, they want you to start a contract in the summer so they can make money. At the end of the day, they're landlords in it. And if you think about it, six bedroom house, there's bound to be a ruckus. There's bound to be people falling out. Six bodies in one place isn't even a joke. Blessed, like, it was nice, like, you know, to be around people that you're always vibes and with, laughing with. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't the six strangers, if that makes sense. These were six of us who spent a lot of our time in first year together. I'm talking about up till late, having chats and all that. So I just was so excited about the experience. I guess it was just a, such a shame because I feel like people kind of lost their way. Like, I don't know, it just wasn't a bit of me at the time anymore, in it. So I was just like, second year, second year is when I realised, like, I actually have to be studying. Like, in first year, you'd have a deadline, a week before the deadline, I'd be in the library and I'd be doing a little bit of things. Like, I'd just be, like, up to speed and I'd just be thinking, wow, uni isn't all that hard, as people say. Second year said, you thought, boy, you thought. It was just I wasn't able to do as much fun things. I was still going around to different comms. And I saw different people's ways. I was just like, mm, I'm not sure about social events in my uni around second year. I wasn't really here for all the ACS stuff. Oh, please, ACS leaders, please forgive me. Because even Lloyd, who's a deputy of ACS, which is the African Caribbean Society, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a space where anybody who identifies as African and Caribbean or relates with African Caribbean culture, they are able to attend and join that society and celebrate our culture. So Lloyd in second year, he was like the deputy head, and bless him. He would always be trying to push me to come. I literally went to a few events. It was just a bit much for me. It was, I feel like first year and like, cause of, the fallout, the fallout of first year were between myself and like people I was around a lot of the time. I just got put off like the social side of uni. I can't even lie to you. I was just very much, let me just 
sit back in my corner because in my head I keep going see this is what happens James when you friend up friend up too many people or you trust people too easily those things taught me so much I basically fell out with my friendship group in first year <laughs> at the end of first year so in second year I was basically MIA I was just visiting friends that was in other unis doing my own thing I was able to make like big career moves I guess that's when I started to really put my degree into perspective I was studying film and television production deep down knew i didn't really need to go to uni to actually work in that industry so all i had in my head was i need to start getting my foot in the industry while i'm studying or else i'm pretty much wasting this 9k i remember i just started doing lots of like tv running while i was in second year i was like doing talks at different universities and stuff like that while i was a bit mia so i was always traveling to different cities and i was just focusing on my uni work and just stuff on my own self and i sort of rebranded my channel so that it would be a bit about me in terms of uni i wasn't spending a lot of money in second year like that i was really saving money like i managed to get somebody to replace me in that house socially wise i was basically just sticking to myself and talking to the people who i like know uni wise like the work was i just wasn't used to being in lectures and lessons for like four hours at a time i remember I had this film studies class right in first year this lecture right we had problems. <laughs> we had like, we actually had problems. I would be in the lecture class for the first three hours of the lesson. It was a four hour lesson by the way. The first two and a half hours we'd have to watch this old school movie. When I say old school, I'm talking about the black and white ones. The ones where the storyline is doing the boring storyline. And then at the other hour and a half of the lesson, we then have to basically analyze the movie. Bear in mind, I, the night before, I'd be up till so late and then going to these lectures and the lights would be off, please, I'd be snoring up the class. I remember every week I'd be snoring, everyone would be looking back at me. I remember I used to be kicking up my chair, I'd be sleeping it up in this lesson. It got so bad to the point, yeah, that the teacher was like to me, so you keep sleeping in the class, it's, your snoring's loud. <laughs> it was loud. My snoring is loud. Still is. Present tense. Um, the teacher was like, yeah, if you keep sleeping in the class, we're basically not going to have you. You can't come to a lesson. I, in my head, I thought she was basically telling me, if you sleep, you're getting kicked out. So, <laughs> best believe, after that conversation, I went to Sainsbury's and I bought some sleeping pills. <laughs> I said, from now on for this Monday lesson, Sunday night, I'm getting two pills and I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to have this woman kick me out of uni. <laughs> For sleeping in lessons so yeah that taught me a lesson i just you just need to be on for your lectures you can't be taken on serious like when it comes to the days you know you have early lectures and stuff make sure you're awake and ready like also take your education serious you know oh boy do you know one thing i hated about uni was group work there was a few group work projects that popped off but i remember in first year i was mad like i put a lot of effort into coming up with an idea for a project and I remember what happened was my group work was given to other groups and I was just not happy. I remember I was pissed. It was the last day of first year. I was fuming. Third year, I was pretty much preparing for everything. I was just preparing for that dissertation. Third year is when I feel like mentally I was already out of uni. And then when the pandemic came in, in February, because remember I just graduated, just the end of last year. So when the pandemic came in, I realised I have to be doing my dissertation and my final project during the pandemic. It was headache. And when I tell you, I'm sure you students know what I'm talking about. These teachers don't give an iota about you. It's wrong. Like the way that you're just left in the lurch. That's what happened. We were pretty much left in the lurch. But God willing, things worked out. My group and I, we make it work. We're doing like Zoom filming be writing the dissertation but luckily I was working while I was at uni so that was one thing I always never wanted to have to be in a position where I was out of money so first year I remember I was working my job for TFL I'd be traveling London on Saturday and Sundays after freshers period Saturdays and Sundays I'd be working the day night time I'd be going out with everybody having fun because I was just like determined to always have money in my pocket just to put aside just for the rainy days and that I just don't like being in a position in general in this life where I feel like I'm down on money and stuff like that I always make sure I work like I'm always working second year I was working for National Express in my uni I had a job right 
I was all, listen, I didn't fair stuff. I was a student ambassador for my uni, so like, I'd be showing like, people from six forms around the university for their open days. And I'd be like, hosting like, events at UCAS for the university that I was at. And I was also like, a, um, a scribe for like, students who have like, learning difficulties. I would go in with them to lectures and basically scribe down everything that goes on in their lecture, please. I was doing the most. When I tell you, if there's a way to make money, Corbyn was there. Corbyn was there. Money-wise, budgeting-wise, I always was on top of things and I always made it a thing where I should be able to pay my rent and stuff like that without touching my loan and that's what I did. Budgeting king to this day. To this day, I just think overall, if people do ask me, oh, is uni a waste of time? No, it's not. Even though you're doing a creative subject, I, if I was to pick again, I wouldn't pick a creative subject because I just feel like it's not worth the 27k. But at the same time, I believe God's plan is always the right plan, and like things align like that for me perfectly. Like the stuff that I did in the three years was never a waste of time. I built myself a brand. I sought out a creative direction. I made sure that I was in a good place in terms of industry focus. And now look, I have so many different paths and options. And I feel like if I went straight into it, it may have not have gone the way exactly that it needed to go. And like everything's God's plan. I think regardless, it would have worked out. But yeah, if you're to ask me, uni's definitely worth it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It 100% is an experience that can be replicated. And you learn so much more than what that degree gives you, if that makes sense. So I'd do it all over again, I promise. But maybe a different course. Probably have missed out on so many different things. I probably will do like a uni Q&A, right? And probably bring some friends from uni. I'm um, doing part two of this video, because I know this is, yeah, yeah. I'm robbing you guys if I don't give you the whole tea and everything. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys watching this video and check out my other videos and my whole uni playlist especially if you're going into uni or looking to go in uni soon the next year please watch my videos they're a bunch of uni related content hilarious and it gives you the real tea of what really goes down in uni so yeah thank you for watching i'm corbin captures follow me on my socials peace out